Nini, 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 for my string machine over the weekend and I wanted to share it with you guys. So I used to put my string machine on this dog grooming table um, and it was just a little bit uh, too low for, for my height and I used this little um, bath bathroom caddy to hold on my strings and my reels and uh, different stringing um, tools and the thing I didn't like about this was that it was a little bit too wide for what it needed to be. And um, I typically would store my table um, along the wall there. And as you can see, this table doesn't have any wheels or casters. So it was a bit um, troublesome moving this table back and forth. So um, I had the goal to use all the wood scraps that I have in my shed and to spend as least amount of money as I can to build a table or a, a base for my string machine that would uh, I think one would make it more efficient for me and a little bit more ergonomic so this is what I built um, so it's a pretty cool uh, I think base that I built um, the features that I was looking for was I wanted it to take less footprint. Um, I want it to, you know, also be on wheels so I can move this back and forth. Uh, I wanted to have storage for my reels. Um, also, uh, want it to be on a rod so that I can, you know, pull my, um, the length of my strings a lot easier. I uh, wanted some, you know, storage space here and also uh, wanted the feature of being able to do my stencil. So I've added a, a, a sliding sh uh, shelf here and I painted a little tennis court which I think looks uh, okay. <laughs> uh, don't ask me to paint you a, a tennis court but I think it came out pretty well. Um, I painted one on top first but uh, realize that the tennis stringing machine is actually on top of it so you don't really see see it so um, I used mainly scraps um, the top here this green board was from an old Prince ping pong table that we bought off of eBay so it was sitting around um, been using that board for scraps so use that for the, the top here, use it for this shelf. I had three uh, two by fours sitting in the garage. So use that to build the frame. Um, had some free shelves that we got on the Facebook marketplace. It was just sitting around and we weren't gonna use it. So, uh, you know, use that for the shelf. Uh, for the rod here, actually used uh, took one of the rods from this old foosball table that we don't really use anymore um, and pretty much the only thing I really had to spend money on were the casters which was about you know $13 on Amazon and these uh, sliding rails uh, from Home Depot which was around 12 bucks as well the neat thing about this sliding rail is it's also soft clothes um, and then I spent about a dollar at the 99 cent store on some blue paint for uh, to paint this tennis court here so overall I'm pretty happy with the results all right time to test this baby out let's see if it's as practical as I think it will be <laughs>
overall, I would say uh, the new base is an improvement from the previous table I was using. Um, the extra um, added height made it so that I didn't have to bend over or, or lean over as much. So uh, I really liked it. Pulling the string uh, from the reel was very easy. And um, yeah, it was very easy to store away. So I gave it thumbs up. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video.